Just taking a quick look at this Dabson 1000 Pro. So this is the smallest Dabson, but guess what? <laughs> Don't let the size fool you because this thing's got big time specs. Big time. But you know, at the same time, if you don't want to get if you don't want to get all crazy, you can have this, yeah, you can just have the single unit only 35 pounds. And by the way, you can still do <laughs> you can still do a lot with the single unit. So but there's expansion capability, there's parallel capability. If you do want to just go nuts <laughs> and get everything this system, everything the system can offer, you're gonna get these specs right here. 4,400 watts continuous AC output and about 10 kilowatt hours in total battery capacity. So that's, that's big time specs. Now, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to get that crazy. Even if you want to do some expansion, even just this setup here would be nice. You know, the main unit and then one expansion battery. And as you can see, the expansion battery, you know, it looks almost identical to the main unit. And what's really cool about this system, it's a little bit unusual in their approach. So basically, guess what? If you get the expansion battery, there's more capacity in the expansion battery than the main unit. So a lot of times these companies will have like the expansion battery will be like physically smaller than the main unit, but have the same battery. So Dabson, they said, hey, we can just use basically the same case and we can just give you twice as much battery capacity. So the main unit, you know, is about one kilowatt hour, you know, about, and then the expansion battery is actually two. So if you're looking at this system here, this setup here, you're actually talking about three kilowatt hours. And guess what? It gets better because when you hook up an extra battery, you get, they, they let you like unlock more AC power. So as you see right here, it goes from 2000 watts continuous to 2400 watts continuous. And then yeah, the, the capacity, we, we just talked about that. So this is interesting because it really encourages you to get the extra battery. And guess what? There's, <laughs> there's another big reason you might wanna go for an extra battery. It's the solar charging capability. So <laughs> this is huge. This is huge right here. 2,400 watts of solar. Yeah, 2,400 <laughs> watts of solar going into this little setup right there. Think about it. It's huge. This is like, this is big time specs. And you know, if you just have, if you just have the one unit, it's, it's yeah, it's 1,200. And so what are the actual specs on this? It's up to 60 volts so you know not the greatest but still you know it's usable and a huge number of amps so 25 amps the extra battery has this same identical mppt input port on it so that's how you get the 2400 with two of them <laughs> and you know you can you can get crazy here i mean you could do the math you know you could do the math here this would be 1200 times six <laughs> right and for AC charging, you know, bi-directional inverter, which the extra batteries don't have. So you can, you know, if you wanna charge the extra batteries separate, you have to do it solar or a DC source. But the main unit, yeah, you know, you can do, it's again, 1200 watts. And, you know, so they're saying, yeah, zero to 80% in about an hour. So in, yeah, no power brick, you know, none of that stuff, obviously. Now you might be saying to yourself, you know, this, everything here sounds great. What about the battery? Yeah, they actually use these semi-solid state LFP cells. They've been using these for a while, actually. They do say 4,500 plus cycles and that's to 80%. And then of course they'll say too, like, well, yeah, 15 year lifespan. Most other companies are, are saying like 10 years. And they did upgrade the light on this power station as well. So all their other models have this like spotlight, Jackery style spotlight. This one, they actually put this panel light on. So, you know, that's, it's just gonna be less likely to blind you and just disperse the light a little bit better. And so here's a kind of an interesting comparison. I don't know if any of you guys would make this comparison, but it's just, it's something to kind of think about. This setup here, check this out. Yeah, we got two of the main units and then each main unit's got an extra battery. So a total of four. 
And remember, the main units are one kilowatt hour each. So there's two here. And then the, here, these are two each. So there's four. So that's supposed to be a four. So this is a six kilowatt hour setup that we're looking at right here. And, you know, when you hook these up in parallel, you get that you get that bonus, right? When you get the, with the AC inverter. So yeah, 4,400 Watts continuous. So these specs are actually a little bit better than that new EcoFlow Delta Pro three that I just took a look at similar, but actually a little bit better. And you know what I just love about these small portable power stations that you can expand into kind of a bigger system is, Guess what? You don't always have to use it like this, all four connected, right? You can use, you know, you can use one power station here, one power station there. You know, you can have, you have duplicates, redundancy, right? You can have an in inverter powering a load over there and an inverter powering a load here. And then think about like all the extra ports that you have, <laughs> you know, like think about the USB. There's like six USB ports on each unit. So six times four, <laughs> you got 24 USB ports and each of the main units has a 12 volt socket. So you actually get two of those, two car sockets basically, whereas the Delta Pro 3 doesn't even give you one, right? And then obviously, you know, the big thing here, the big advantage here is if you want to move the system, you can break it down into these four different parts. So the main units are actually 35 pounds. And then the extra battery, because of that extra capacity, even though there's no inverter, they do weigh a little bit more. They're 40 pounds, but still 40 pounds at the most. Whereas if you want to move the Delta Pro 3, that's 115 pounds. So yes, it has the wheels and the handle, but if you need to lift it, <laughs> you know, if you need to lift it, you're kind of screwed, aren't you? Now, what about the downsides? You know, what there must be something better about the Delta Pro 3 in this example. Well, yeah, there is. I mean, you know, hooking up, hooking up four of these units like this, it's kind of a hassle, really. Especially since this has these huge bulky cables. It doesn't have the 90 degree cables like EcoFlow started using. So, you know, you gotta take up extra room. And again, just, yeah, you gotta hook all these up together and hope that they all sync up and work together. So, yeah, sometimes it's just nice to just have, you know, one unit or just one, you know, considering the specs that Delta Pro 3 has, it is pretty compact. So, and then obviously, you know, this system is almost maxed out, isn't it? Whereas if you get the Delta Pro 3, you know, we're just talking about the one unit. You could, you can really max that system out too. And it would be no contest, no comparison. But still, you know, I just, for me, I just love the idea of being able to grab and go. You know, you can just take this thing with you. Hey, one-handed. <laughs> you can take this thing with you one-handed.